hello, greetings, thank you for um, visiting here as I try this debut virtual museum uh, relic look here. Of all the uh, relics that I found in Marysville, of course, some of the more affecting ones are the ones that are uh, from children, the old toy ones. I think there's a limit, obviously, as how close I can get to these things. I will um, no doubt give you a link for more information here and probably get some pictures posted so these things can be looked at with a little bit more detail than I have here. Uh, these are just kind of some of the standard pieces. Old train toy wheel, originally red. Definitely it was a wheel as compared to a, uh, a car or something. And then you got your usual uh, plastic army men. A couple sleigh bells. Very interesting. Very corroded. Um, another thing that's very common that a lot of people find are these marbles. And this is just a small collection, well, I wish I could get closer to them, of a lot that I have. One of the more common ones are clay marbles. These are one of the original marbles that were made by homesteaders and pioneers when they didn't have the commercial ones. You'll find plenty of those. Here's somewhat a larger one. It looks like it's almost made out of chalk or some kind of harder material. I suppose chalk would be too soft. You got your normal ones. This is one of the interesting ones. I need to get a closer picture of this somehow so I can get close. Uh, it's pitted, and I believe it's a gem or an, actually a mineral that was made into a marble. It's really interesting. If I go up farther, it can be zoomed in. All right, one of the other very interesting things, a lot of these popped up on top of Picnic Hill. They have... Uh, The tea sets, some of which are remarkably intact. I have a couple lids here for probably sugar bowls, a little cup and a saucer. Various fragments from larger ones. Here's a small, I'm not too sure, like a little little tray. Other pieces. Doll pieces and these are really interesting. These are just pieces here. These are small doll figures. You may have heard the term frozen Charlotte. That is actually a term uh, for these types of dolls. These, however, I found, I'm not even too sure what they're made out of. They have a seam to them. They almost feel like rock. These sometimes could be actually just used as dolls to give to kids. But some of the frozen Charlottes, like this is a good example of one. Mm -hmm. Useless to see. Again, I'll have a link and you'll be able to see many, many examples of these. Let's take a look at uh, what Wikipedia has to say. There's an example of one. Uh, frozen Charlotte is a name to describe a specific form of China doll made from 1850 to 1920. Substantial popularity during the Victorian era. And this really did come from the American folk ballad, Fair Charlotte, based on the poem, A Corpse Going to a Ball, by Seba Smith, which tells of a young girl called Charlotte who refused to wrap up warmly to go on a sleigh ride. She didn't want to cover up her pretty dress, so she froze to death. And it's cheerful. Let's see what we got here. Uh, what I thought was interesting, though, the, the smaller ones like I have right here, and there's some evidence from Wikipedia. The smallest dolls were sometimes used as charms and Christmas puddings. I heard they would bake these into desserts all the time as kind of a surprise for kids. They did not mention what they got on their dental damages. Man, I can actually get a picture one here. Here we go. Here's an example of some, let's pop up big picture here. All right, there you go. There's some examples of frozen charlottes. And you can ask, you can decide for yourself if those are indeed them or not. Uh, okay, you'll find a lot of these around the Marysville area. Very interesting. This is just my debut. Let's see how this works. Virtual museum exhibit. 
Thank you for watching. We'll see what else we can do in the future.